Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I wanted to talk to you about story planning for when you're on the public affairs beat. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, what is story planning? Well, what I'm talking about is, you know, before you go out and start reporting a story, you make a plan. You think about who you're going to interview, what you're going to ask them, what you think the story's about, doing your background research. That's the kind of thing we're going to talk about in this video. Okay, so why is it important to plan a story ahead of time? Well, because improv is hard. That's why. There's no reason to have to fly by the seat of your pants unless it's absolutely necessary. And sometimes it will be absolutely necessary when you're a journalist. But sometimes when you're a journalist, you can head that kind of thing off at the pass by making sure you have a good plan. Okay? Especially on something that can be really complex, like a public affairs beat. Okay? A good plan is just going to be a good idea. Alright? So, what does a plan look like? Well, here's a quick checklist for you. First of all, what do you already know about the story? You need to have an angle going into it. Okay? What are you going to cover? What are you going to ask? What do you think is going on? And in order to get background on that angle, you need to go into your newspaper archive. Or you need to do an online search. Okay? You need to try to find information, look at stories that have already been covered on a particular beat. Okay? Once you've done that, once you think you know that beat really, really well, that's when you start making a list of who your primary sources are. Okay? So who are the public officials you're going to talk to? Who are the you know, administrators you're going to talk to? Who are the affected people you're going to talk to? Okay? So make a list of the people you're going to interview. Then start thinking about those secondary sources, those things like your public documents, uh, things like arrest records, campaign finance reports, things like that. What are going to be the secondary sources you need and how are you going to get them? And then lastly, ask, about, ask yourself, how are you going to tell the story? Are you going to write a uh, narrative uh, inverted pyramid story the same way we did for the uh, first assignment there with the underage drinking? Or are you going to do something else? Is it a big complex topic that's going to require a sidebar? Or something like a uh, maybe a breakout box of some kind? So what kind of visual is going, go going to go with it? Is there a video component to it? Is there a photo that can go with it? So those are the kind of things you need to be thinking about when you're pitching stories. Especially if you're working at a small paper when you're starting out, you're going to be the person taking the video. You're going to be the person who's shooting the picture. So, you know, think about all the things that your boss is going to be expecting you to get, right? Okay. So, what a story plan might look like might look like something like this. And I actually took this from uh, Tim Harrower's textbook. Um, this is something that, uh, but this has been kind of the basis for a lot of very similar sheets that a lot of newspapers have used over the years. And here, let me tell you a little quick personal story. Uh, we used to use something like this when I was an editor at the Wyoming Tribune Eagle. Uh, myself, one of the uh, graphic designers, a photographer, and the city editor would all get together to... Uh, interview essentially the reporters we would bring them in they would pitch us a story we would interview them on what we think was going on we would brainstorm what we thought it would look like and then we would fill out a sheet like this and make copies for everybody and then we would try to execute this plan as the reporter would go out and cover the story and then come back and communicate to us how it was going and you know we might come up with new ideas and whatnot but we always had a plan a basis for what we thought that story package was going to look like. And so this was the form that we would use. And so you'll notice on here it's very visual it's very visual in nature um, because it you know asks for things like a rough layout, a main headline, a deck, photos and art. But there's also a lot in there that's going to hopefully be answered by the reporter. The questions readers will ask. Number one, of course, being why should I care? Um, but yeah, what are the big questions that the reporter that the readers are going to have? Because those are the questions that you should be asking of your sources. Now, over where I work at Wingspan Student Media at Laramie County Community College, uh, we use this form for all of our reporters. Now, what we do is we fill this out first uh, early on in the semester. Our uh, editors fill, this, fill these out, and uh, me as one of the advisors, you know, I do the advising. Um, but anyway, they fill these out for the reporters, and they give them as kind of a road map for how to go out and cover a particular story. Um, 
after after a while then the reporters start filling them out themselves and giving them to the editors and the editors either approve them or kick them back for corrections uh, but this form is a little bit more about the reporting process and so you'll notice in here that uh, one of the important things on here the readers viewpoints what questions beyond the five W's and H would readers like to have answered so that's gonna get you thinking about you know how do I cover this in a way that people are actually gonna want to read so how are you going to serve your audience? Okay, so those are the things that you want to be thinking about. And the things that you get in the reporting process don't always have to go into the narrative story. Sometimes those are answered through, say, a poll quote or, say, um, a breakout box. There's a lot of different options. Um, here's a couple of uh, options for you, about eight of them, in fact. Um, like, for instance, a fever chart, a glossary, a list, a bio box, a public opinion poll. Um, here's a, even another big set of them. Uh, a checklist, a bar chart, a rating, a step-by-step -step guide, a map. So there's lots of different visual ways that you can tell a story that doesn't necessarily have to be part of the narrative. So it's all about how big your angle is and how deep the coverage is going to go. Okay, So think outside the narrative. Okay, you might have your main story, and that's going to be the narrative, right? But maybe you've got a couple of sidebar angles that you also want to get out there, and you want to do them in a way that's not just a narrative. So maybe it's going to be something like using sidebars to highlight important details that get in the way of a good narrative. Maybe there's a multimedia piece, like a video, or maybe an interactive quiz that you can use to supplement the online writing. Or maybe you can use a non-narrative device that's going to help your readers better understand an issue. And what I mean by non-narrative device is this stuff back here. And then, it, remember, anytime you're stuck on writing a story, try something different. Okay, Try thinking about, hey, I'll write it as a timeline. I'll write it as a table. Okay, Not everything has to be in narrative format. So make sure you're also in there considering the medium. What works in broadsheet print may not necessarily work as well on social media, or it may not necessarily work as well on a magazine mobile phone. Okay, So there's a lot of different ways that you're going to be reporting, and your reporting really needs to match the medium. So think about that a little bit as well. But ultimately, you know, facts are facts, and there's a good way to get them out on every medium out there, whether it's print, whether it's Twitter, whether it's in a video report, whatever it may be. Okay, so for your next writing assignment, we're going to have a story planning component. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to actually have you use our Wingspan story plan form. Now, this is going to come to you as an interactive PDF. I'll have all, you know, make sure you check out uh, uh, YOWeb there for YO courses or whatever for the uh, uh, instructions on, you know, what the reporting process is going to be and the parameters for the story and everything that you're going to report that's going to be political in nature. But you're going to use this form to think Think about all the big reporting questions, the big five W's and H that's going to go into the race that you want to cover. And then on top of that, I also want you to think a little bit visually here and fill out that bottom section there, the writing, photos, graphics, multimedia section. What would the headline look like if this was running in the paper? What would a sidebar look like if you were writing that? What would a photograph look like if you were going to go out and shoot that? Okay. Um, what would an infographic look like? like if you were going to make that as well. Now that's not to say that I'm going to assign that. This is, you know, a writing based course, but I do want you to be thinking about those types of ideas, okay? So that's going to be coming in uh in the uh, writing assignment for this module. All right? So, with that, that's all I've got today. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.